Diamondback. What are you doing here? You invited me, but not inviting me. Your character on Luke Cage, it happens to play like a bit of a different familial role with the main character, Luke. In the comics, he's not a, fa a brother. What do you think that this adds to the show itself, to the relationship, to his motivation? I think it just, ch just changes the whole like dynamic, right? Of, um, of, of, of this world, you know, compared to like, you know, the, the comic book world, you know, people ask me, do I, did I, you know, read a lot of the comic books in order to like do this, do, you know, do this role today? And I'm like, no, because they're so different. You know, when you add blood into, you know, a situation, it changes everything, you know, um, on a much deeper level, you know, and I think it makes it universal because, you know, because they're brothers now, it's like, well, everyone, Universally, you know, every son has a father. And, you know, we know what those relationships can be, you know. And because of what the father has done, now you've got the consequences of how the two siblings are going to react to it. And then when you have one sibling that doesn't even know that they're brothers, and the other one does, can't even imagine, right? And then, like, you know, their father's a God-fearing <laughs> preacher. <laughs> can't even imagine. So that's where he started, and so when you see him today, yeah, he's been through a lot, like a lot mentally. I can imagine. I yeah. Can. And at the end of the season, yeah. your character, Diamondback, is still alive. Yeah, still alive. So what do you hope to happen next? We saw that it, there's, it's like open-ended. Anything could happen at this point with yeah. him being still alive. I know. It's a, it's a blank canvas for me, you know. As an artist, I have to keep it that way. You know, I can't put any colors on until I know what, you know, what colors are given to me, you know. I can paint the picture, you know, once you tell me, like, what colors I have to work with, you know. But if I, like, you know, start drawing the painting and stuff before you even told me, <laughs> you know what it is, then, you know, I've done myself and, you know, the fans and the character a disservice. So at this point, and then I'm jumping the gun because I don't even know if Diamondback's coming back for season two. So I don't really investigate that. I don't explore. I try and stay in this moment and just um, appreciate and uh, accept the work that we've done so far. And I really love the show. I think everyone did a fabulous job on the show. Mm. I'm so proud of that show and what, you know, every, everyone's work on that show is, you know. Even if I wasn't in it, I'd still be proud of that show. It's so beautiful. And speaking of the cast and all of the work done, how was yeah. it working with Cheo? Cheo was a blessing, you know. He really understood, you know, this world. And he really wanted to, he had a focus on it, you know. He really wanted it to be something, you know, that... Uh, the audience has never seen before and it's turned out to be that in a very historic way I mean, I think this is the first you know african-american superhero on television ever Ever, you know, so I mean that's a lot of like, you know effort on his shoulder, you know But it wasn't a burden to him, you know, it was actually something that he was like, yeah It's past due. Let's get this done. So there was a sense of immediacy to like, you know His work and our work. So and I think uh, it came across really well Great. And just to jump off of that, sure. to see an all-black cast, what did that mean for you? Well, it's something I've never seen before, right? Growing up, you know, I've never seen a black superhero, male or female, and an all-black show like that, you know. Um, there wasn't exploiting, you know, the black community, you know. I mean, we talk about the good times and all that stuff, but, you know, that, I mean, that sent a different message than what Luke Cage is saying today. And Good Times wasn't really a superhero show, you know. So they're two different worlds. So there's been all-black cast before, but in this form, you know, in this day and age, I think this is really something special. All right, thank you so much. My pleasure. Can you dig it?